Hey, what's up, guys? That's Kazooie here, and welcome to episode two of Fatal Not Informs Wants to Watch. And in the previous episode, we did play the first two games and managed to collect 60k in total. And at the end, I gave you guys two options of players which you were able to choose from. The first pair was going to be Matuidi and Varan, and the second pair was the five star skiller Douglas Costa and Renato Sanchez. And uh, pair two is actually the winner, so that means we're going to be adding those two players in the squad. And you can see right there, uh, we do lack a little bit of chemistry, especially on the left hand side and in the middle but uh, hopefully it shouldn't affect the next two games so uh, without further ado we're gonna go it will be the first game of the episode come up against a uh, sort of a Russian league league uh, looking side and also some Liga Portuguesa players actually and uh, we started things off in the fourth minute this was actually a really laggy game I think it was against a subscriber as well as he tweeted me after the game and after four minutes we did pick up a penalty after some great stuff from Di Maria, some great skill moves. And as I said before, it was a laggy game. You can see a little bit from the gameplay too. So I was just really, really happy to get that penalty, especially at the start of the game. But unfortunately enough, I completely gave away it. We hit the post and um, yeah, what I thought was going to be a fantastic start ended up being not so great start. Even though we did create a lot of chance at the start of the game here. Also with our striker Bifuma, a great save there from his goalkeeper too. Then we move on in the 25th minute. It is Di Maria once again on the right hand side. This time we cut in with a bit of a spin. I tried to go for a shot. We pick it up here with Douglas Costa. Then he turns around, shoots through the defender's legs. And also at the same time through the goalkeeper's legs. And it actually went in this time. A really sloppy goal I felt because I think the goalkeeper should have saved that one. Near post as well. And um, yeah, it went in. So uh, we do take the lead in the game. And uh, the first half was mainly for us, as I said before. Create a bunch of chances, but we just couldn't finish it off. Mainly because of the lag. And also in the second half, you can see from his uh, play style. He was a really good FIFA player. He completely outplayed me the first few minutes in the second half. And he scored a beautiful goal with uh, Danny. And that brings the coin total we actually get from this game back to zero. Which was uh, a bit annoying. Then in the 72nd minute, Benzia there on the right hand side. Cuts in with the skill move. We lose the ball. Then we pick it up with Di Maria. Cross it in to the near post to Benzia. Who gets his head onto it and makes it 2-1 and gives us 20k back as you can see top right. Uh, then we play a through ball here to Douglas Costa on the left hand side. I was thinking should I cross it in or should I go with skill moves. I crossed it in to be Fuma a striker and we get another heading goal. And um, yeah we make it 3-1 to pretty much make it game over. But still even though it was game over I didn't want to concede any goals. Because obviously then we would lose some, uh, lose some coins. He was very close though to uh, make it 3-2 at the very end. He did get some big chances too. But uh, lucky enough for us. It ended up being 3-2-1. And uh, that means we do get 40k from this game alone. You can see he was dominating in possession. But uh, shots wise uh, in general that went on target. We uh, took the lead in that one. So um, yeah. anyway we move on to the squad. You can see right there we managed to get 40k coins from this game alone. Which I think is an okay start if you consider it was a really laggy game. Uh, they're moving in what will be the second game and we come up against a lot less stronger team. A lot of bronze players. So I thought this was going to be an easy game. Which is a thought you should never go into a game. And yeah, you can see right there, this is why I said it. Because he just scored a random long shot, like what the hell, with his center attacking forward, which was a 62 rated Korean bronze player, like from just a random Danish club. I was so surprised that it actually went in. So um, yeah, after 10 minutes, I was thinking, should I go with skill moves again? I kind of tried to mix it up a bit. But you can see I just went full sprinting here with Di Maria and I went with a nice finish shot into the back of the net, making it 1-1. You can see from the playstyle that I play in Fatal, it, some, like I try to do skill moves but sometimes I just have to like play a bit more sweaty in order to, uh, to get enough goals and actually make a decent team. Because obviously that's the aim in this whole series so um, yeah, don't blame me because I want to make like a good team as well for the knockout stages. But anyway, 20th minute after we're 2-1 up, a uh, great goal again from Di Maria. We got another chance with Renato Sanchez. Unfortunately, not really the greatest header. Then we're moving into the second half. It's him on the ball here with Park. Again, that center taking forward. Waits a little bit to play it on through to his right-hand side player, Camper. Goes for the shot near post. And again, the goalkeeper was looking terrible there. I was really, really thinking of like upgrading him. But obviously, I, I don't really know how many coins I was able to get from this game. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to score as many goals as possible. And we hit the post here as well. Got very unlucky. Then uh, in the 70th minute, uh, Douglas Costa here on the left-hand side was thinking, should I cross it in? Should I go with Skimmers? Cross it in. Another good save there from his goalkeeper. It was ridiculous. Like, he saved so many chances of us. We also got very unlucky with hitting the post, which was just annoying. But here again, a great save from him. And it was just so frustrating to score. Now in the 86th minute, I don't know what happened. I think his batteries were actually dead at this time. And you can see, I tried my hardest, like... To score a goal even though it's kind of set like it is allowed in fatal you, you are actually able to score goals when your opponent isn't playing 
I think you have a max of like three goals or something. I tried my best, hit the post before. And then it is finally Di Maria who gets the goal, completes his hat trick. And uh, gives us the lead in the game. Uh, towards the end he actually played on. And then all of a sudden in the 90th minute he pressed start. And he decided to rage quit. Which was just perfect for us. Because that obviously means we get another 50k extra. On top of the 50k we already uh, had from this game alone. With the goals and stuff. So um, yeah. Was really happy with the result actually. Even though uh, yeah, the game itself was a bit weird. Because I didn't expect my opponent to play this good actually. Especially with the players he had. And um, yeah, you can see right there at the end, we managed to collect 140k from two games alone, which is a lot better compared to the previous episode. So we're going to move on to the pairs. Pair 1 is going to be a uh, striker in Lacazette and a 5-star skiller in Ben Arfa. We do uh, have a 15k left if we go with pair 1. And then pair 2 is going to be a more defensive kind of pair. We have uh, Alaba and Varane. And we do have a 12k left if we go with pair 2. So uh, let me know in the comments down below which pair I should go with. I will leave uh, two comments as well which you can vote on. Uh, because I think that's the easiest way to do it. So um, yeah, anyway, let me know your thoughts about those two pairs as well. Uh, maybe I should have gone with something else. But um, I think this is uh, the best option in terms of the amount of coins we were able to spend. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like be very much appreciated so i'd like to thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys later bye, -bye.